Marie Houston on the big loop. We are ready for step 14. Houston Discovery, uh, step 14 and one. Discovery uh, step 14 is complete. We copy on the big loop. Alpha Houston for procedure 2.104. We're ready for step 15. Again, the mission status briefing that was scheduled for 6.15 will likely be put off a little bit until after this welcoming ceremony that's coming up any minute now is over. Copy. We'll plan to begin it as soon as possible after the crew does get their welcoming ceremony finished. Shuttle Discovery arriving. And you can see now that the hatches are open at 6.09 p.m. Central Time while the shuttle and station were orbiting about 234 miles above the Southern Ocean, southeast of New Zealand. can see Commander Lee Arshambo in the right-hand corner of the screen. In front of him, Pilot Tony Antonelli in the center. Mission Specialist Joe Acaba behind him in the white shirt. Mission Specialist Koichi Wakata and just floating in, Mission Specialist John Phillips. Behind him looks like Mission Specialist Ricky Arnold coming in holding the camera. All right, to the crew of Discovery, welcome aboard our beautiful International Space Station. We've been waiting for you guys for a while. We understand you have a couple of really important things for us. First and foremost, uh, Koichi-san, first long-duration Japanese guy in space ever. Welcome aboard.
And uh, we also understand you have a truss out there, more power to us. Got some spacewalks lined up. We're excited for that. And also, it's always uh, proper and uh, to, to recognize a, a former space station crew member, John, welcome back. It's gotten a lot bigger since uh, we both first flew on, on here. It's great to be back. <laughs> so welcome, Lee. Welcome to your entire crew. We are dang glad to see you. Mike and Snyder be here again a second time uh, for myself and Swanee and John. And uh, we're really delighted to join you, Sandy, uh, Yuri. And uh, we got a lot of work to do. We're looking forward to it. But this is a very special moment. So thanks for having us aboard. So let's get to work. <laughs> That was Command Station Commander Mike Fink giving the words of welcome to the seven members of Space Shuttle Discovery's crew, thanking them for bringing the newest crew member and also the last segment of the Space Station's truss that will finish off their complement of solar arrays and provide them enough power to do twice the science. Again, that hatch opening for the two vehicles occurred around 6.09 p.m. Central Time as the shuttle and station were flying over the ocean southeast of New Zealand. Now that they're all inside, the International Space Station crew is scheduled to go through a safety briefing, making sure everybody is ready to live and work safely at the International Space Station while they're there. And then they'll begin almost right away transferring some of the cargo that Discovery brought inside its mid-deck, as well as the spacesuits that will be worn during Discovery's three spacewalks, and the Soyuz seat liner that will mark Mission Specialist Guichi Wakata's Beginning, the beginning of Mission Specialist Kuichi Wakata's time as a flight engineer at the International Space Station. Crews seen here inside the Harmony node of the International Space Station, which is attached on one end to the pressurized mating adapter that the uh, shuttle docks to. This view you can see on the far left-hand side of the screen, Pilot Tony Antonelli moving right, Mission Specialist Koichi Wakata, Mission Specialist Ricky Arnold, Mission Specialist Steve Swanson and Com Shuttle Commander Lee Archambault. Almost in view is also ISS Commander Mike Fink. Just a reminder that the briefing scheduled for 6.15 p.m. Central Time was pushed back just a little bit so that we could 
watch this welcoming ceremony as it occurred, but we will be moving to that soon. And again, it will be the mission status briefing.